Okay. I'm going to wait for Discord to reconnect so I actually know things on the desktop have reconnected. Or someone just messaged me in the chat letting me know that we are actually back online. Not too sure what just happened. Radio now here. Okay, cool. Right, since that's back. Good. As soon as the internet stops. Yeah, okay, not in real life. Okay, so I will carry on then. Now that I know you're back. Yeah, I know, the internet keeps dropping. I don't know why. It's being a bastard. Uh, right. As soon as I saw the internet had dropped, I stopped playing, so you shouldn't have really missed anything. Indeed. This time, I'm not even it was not you. Okay, no, I want to keep that. Alright, so I shotgun a box to be overly dramatic. Which then lets me go in here. Fuck that guy. Turn the power off. Uh, sure, I might as well use the health, I guess. Why not? I feel like using that armor would be a bit overkill considering only 2 HP, not HP. What the hell would you call it for um, armor? AP? Armor points? Yes, I will happily take these giant boxes of magical ammo. That literally refilled my whole ammo capacity. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping that as a spare. Right. Now, there's a way you're supposed to do this, and the way I'm going to do this. Oh, hello. You're eager. Now, you're supposed to just sort of avoid them. But why avoid them when you can blow the whole chopper up? So I just keep hitting it in the right spot, and don't destroy it when it's literally right above you. That would be an ideal place for it to go. <laughs> wow. Actually, didn't take as much ammo as I was expecting. Alright. Cool! Sorted! Oh, well, then you can just have a nice leisurely stroll instead of getting fucking harassed constantly. Just makes life that little bit easier. Apart from when there's guys right there. What about you two? Oh well. They're gone and goodies. Loot. Oh god, move my keyboard. Oh shit, the door opened the wrong way. Uh, any good stuff? Some, uh, is that volt meters? Casually in a box. As you do. You got nothing now, bitch. He just dropped a grenade. Well, his family will be having an empty coffin funeral for him. I love getting toward the end of a level because I can just go nuts with my ammo. You poor bastards. 
never really stood a chance. Uh, anything I can scavenge? Okay, there's still a soldier somewhere. That's a wall. Oh, yeah, I believe I'm going to need number two up here. It's not worth it for three health, is it, really? Ah, uh, crap, which way did I come from? Oh, I just thought... Have I fucked myself here? So, yeah, I can't actually open those doors. Oh, bollocks. I'm going to have to go back. Shit. I'm hoping I can actually get back up. I'm a bit fucked if I can't. Okay, it looks like I can. Or I could get trolled by a box. Because if I can't get back up, I can't actually finish this level. Which would be a major design flaw. Yeah, I'm fucked. I can't get back up. Wow. Because you can't get back out through there. And I so I can press the button through the wall because there's this gold source. <laughs> okay, got lucky. <laughs> Portal life. Ow. My legs. I'm wounded. I'm gonna die. Would say go to a hospital, but probably not the best idea. Right. Switching to the shotgun so I don't accidentally blow myself up with grenades. So I know what I'm like. Actually, no, I've got, I want that player to go ahead, this one to stay behind. So I press that, that unlocks that. Then you get fucked. People are very grenade happy. Alright. Press that, press that. Boom. The yeah, airspace literally is clear because I blew that fucking chopper up. Counter yeah, that's Half-Life with Counter-Strike weapons, isn't it? I've seen that on um, Run Thing Shoot Live. Dot com, dot org, whatever it is. Dot org, I think. In order to use it. I can't seem to do it from here. And the maintenance hatch to the basement controls is locked. You'll have to raise the beacon manually. Find it, and I'll contact you again. Okay, we'll do. I've got quite a few magnum rounds I could use, I guess. Oh, hello. Wow, already throwing grenades, okay. I guess I am in kind of heavy, you know, power armor and shit, but... Details. Can I shoot through that? No, I can't. Okay, I'm glad I had a bit of distance from that guy. There we go, much better precision. Right, I think he just planted a grenade. Or at least he was midway planting a grenade. 
Okay, he died, so I guess we're all good. Hold on. Military really do not give up. Pretty sure at this point I'll be like, nah, fuck this, I'm done. Can't go in there. I know there are a few secret areas in this level that I don't actually know how to access. Because I think they were accessible in the PlayStation 2 version, but the PC version they're bugged out or something. Which is unfortunate to say the least. Oh, someone probably spawned in behind me. No, they actually didn't. Okay. That's a, that's quite shocking. It's Half-Life. He usually loves to troll you like that. Ammo. Okay, I'll take all that nice sweet ammo. Alright, we're going to get ambushed while I'm using this one. Oh shit. Okay. It's time for a bit of Magnum. So glad I missed my first shot. He, he ran. The absolute coward. Alright. There we go. I mean, I don't blame him for running. I would have run as well. I like it when they try new shotguns from range, because it doesn't work like that. I mean, in real life, obviously, shotguns have a much greater range than uh, their video game counterparts, but... Still, in the game, it's fun. Anyone else want to casually, spontaneously appear? Right, health there, health there... Ammo and armor, yes please. Here's one of the things I was on about. Oh, actually, no, wait, this barrel actually moves. This barrel has never moved for me in the past. I'm curious now. Because if it is, then I've. Holy shit, you actually can. Okay. I wonder why that barrel never moved for me before. Damn, all right, I was forcing it then. Grenades, got magnum bullets. Oh god, that's like a whole fucking refill. Oh, this is some sweet, beautiful loot. Got the, there's fucking ammo everywhere. That never bodes well. Yeah, to be honest, that would be something that's quite nice. Aim down sights. I know I quite liked it in, um, was it S mod that added sights? I know M mod, like, did some weird things with sights, but not really. Surprise. Woohoo, he actually survived. For long. Okay, health back there. Oh god. Are you guys against them or me? Okay, they just. There was an explosion and someone died. So. Apparently they killed themselves. Okay, that's fine by me. One less bastard I need to deal with. He was annoying me. Okay, there's another barrel up there. That'll be to get to another secret area. Okay, now this one doesn't move. 
Don't be doing that near explosive barrels. Terrifies me. Alright. Oh shit. I didn't know S Mod had a new update, to be honest. <laughs> what have they added? It's been a while since I've played S Mod, to be honest. It's probably been a good three or four years since I've been on that. Right, now I'm going to need number two. Just at the start of the level. Amazing. Guess I could stop in that ammo room on the way, see if there's anything I missed. Ship, yeah, it was in here. Nope, I cleared it out. All right, uh, this way, yeah. Do -do -do. Right. From what I remember, this bit is actually a bit of a bastard. Right, um, so. Okay, I actually need to hold it. You switch, you turn, and you go like hell, and, like, realistically you need two people to do that unscathed. I think that permanently turns it off. Yeah, then it allows you to go into here. Which has some nice health. I probably should have saved for the other player, but oh well. Yeah, they're in much better, worse shape. Deagle got from left a 2 1 to a CS. Okay, okay. Interesting change. These people do not like me. Fuck. What did I do to offend them so much? Ah, uh, they were probably raised by someone named Karen or something. Okay, go that way. That way's blocked. Right then. This way it is. Oh, this room. Okay. Okay, right. Yeah, I need you to come through as well. Grab health. <laughs> and ammo. More health. Just everything I can possibly get. And sta no, 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 no. Sta stand on that. Then. Send you up. We'll need to work quickly right. as we're running out of time. The beacon then, must be jammed. Oh, I know something happens bad, so I'm gonna hide this character in here. Then use the controls to raise the beacon. Alright. Go climbing on pipes, a nice half-life tradition. Really, you chose to aim at me instead of that one? 
A disgrace. Now that should collapse this. We can afford to lose this equipment. It's our only chance. You must find a way to raise the beacon and for heaven's sake try to keep it in one piece. Ah, chill, we're fine. Okay, so that's down, so now we can manually press it up. Okay, that's open the top door, cool. Well, to be honest, melee weapons in Half-Life haven't ever exactly been the greatest. Or do you mean, like, does it just look shit in it, or...? It's <laughs> just overall just a shitty weapon that doesn't need to be in it. So remember an opposing force, the knife went bad. DPS, okay. My equipment tells me that the displacement beacon is up and in working order. Good job. Come upstairs to Gamma Labs. We haven't much time. Sweet. Alright, next level then. Hello, Doctor. Up those stairs, you can access the alien quarantine lab. I fear that the scientists working there may have been overcome by the very creatures they were studying. We need you to get inside those labs and activate a beam matrix which powers the displacement beacon. You won't find much help in activating the system, but I'm sure with your training it will be a simple matter. Yeah, don't worry, you just stay down here. You can attach fucking turrets to your chair or something. I'll briefly unlock the doors for you. I can remotely operate the elevator that will take you to the lab area. Then it's up to you to turn on the device. I'll remotely operate the elevator. I'll have a switch character it cuts him off. That's how useless the AI is. It hit there. Time for a shotgun action. I have to admit, I do quite enjoy this level. I think this is definitely one of the best levels of Decay. It's got some decent enemy variation, nice ambushes, some throwbacks, really shows some of the fucked up stuff Black Mesa were doing. That's always fun. Hello! Goodbye! Oh, fucking hell. Right, there we go! See? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Oh, God. The further I get into the game, the more terrified I am about dying. If you die in the first couple of levels, that's not a big of a deal, you just redo the first couple of levels. But then you get this far, and you're like, if I die now, I have to redo the whole fucking game. <laughs> Glad my gun barrel is sufficient uh, identification. Can I kill you now? No. Excuse me. Now the fact you get to see them like studying the aliens, and the fact it's got the um, slave collars off. I just think it's cool. I like this area. It's a nice little... Not exactly a lore dump, but... Gives you some context. 
How the fuck did I walk past you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, you know, this poor guy, he probably didn't want to be part of the experiment, but nevertheless, he was. He just casually cut his head off to have a look at the egg crab. Yeah, that must have been a good experience for him. And then the only bull squid we actually see in the game. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk about bull squids. Fucking rude. They look so cute when they're asleep. Ignore the giant tube coming out of his mouth and, you know, the torturous conditions he's living under. And it's all good. And the fact you can literally suck his goo out. A bit of biology, it's always a nice, nice hobby. <laughs> right, um, continuing with the game. Okay, now I'm assuming in the PlayStation version, this button actually did something. So in the PC version, it sure as shit does nothing. I'd assume it unlocks this door. Because security doors must be closed to activate laser. Okay, wait, unless... Hold on, hold on, why don't you deactivate all three? Then can you do it? I've never actually tried that. I don't think I've ever actually read the sign. Son of a bitch! Okay. <laughs> oh, for years I've been doing that and I've only just figured that out. Incredible. Right, I'm just going to turn them all back on. Right, now I need my other player. Let's go and explore the rest of the puzzle area. Right, so, at the moment, uh, yeah, that's down, so I guess, I guess, do the last one first and work our way back to it, wherever the hell, yeah, be that way, use that. So, the first colour we need is purple, purple being red and blue, do that, and boom. Now we need orange. Orange being red and yellow. We direct it, and then we need some green. Green being blue and yellow. And now we need white being all three. Excellent. I've come a long way for not being able to tell my colours in the Tomb Raider game. <laughs> I don't want to go and let him out the door first. Actually, no, I don't need to let him out the door because I found the other bloody way of doing it. The actual way you're supposed to do it. I still cannot believe that I never figured that out. Then again, actually, no, you can't do it. Because these don't turn off after. So what's the point of having this door? So yeah, so I actually can't get out with it. Okay, sure. I assume that made sense to someone designing the level. But it sure as shit not me. Okay, they take quite a few bullets. Fucking hell. Your turn! Oh, yeah, the crowbar damaging game. I know you can do it in um, Half Life 2 um, Source games. I'm not sure how you do it in Gold Source. I know you can do it from the game files, but I don't know if you can do it 
directly from the console. There's probably something somewhere. I know it's like bloody hundreds of websites that have thousands of commands you can do, so it's probably somewhere. Right, so now I need myself to let myself out because this door's bullshit. I was so happy that I'd found a simpler way of doing it, and the game just takes it from me. Okay, well that's empty. Apparently it's just invasion of the bloody Vorgans today. There we go. So it's, if you'd let the second player in, then you'd be trapped in there because you can't turn the lasers off. How do I think you reload after every shot? Hmm. The boss fights would be interesting. I guess you'd get around that though with, um, like, the Tau Cannon and Glue on Gun, Hive Hand. Right, now we just casually stroll this one back as well. Lifts. Makes me want to play Mass Effect. I was not prepared for them, too. <laughs> oh well. Okay, do we both have to be in that? Good work. With the beam matrix active, we can attempt a resonance reversal. We seem to have become quite an effective team, but everything comes down to this. The rift has become dangerously wide, and it may already be too late. We must act now. Okay, so this next level is definitely one of the levels I'm concerned about doing. Because <laughs> it's pretty brutal. You've done well, but we're not done yet. You must use the displacement beacon's focus emitter to charge the large crystals on the canyon walls. Once charged, now use them to start the resonance reversal. Those crystals will be far more effective than the dampening fields. Follow me. Well, this one I want oh, both I players stocked up. Because I know how savage the fight to come is. Shit, I should have reloaded that before I did it. There you go. I've also had this level glitch before, and it literally is impossible to complete. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. If it does, I'll just have to restart the level. Okay, that's as far as I can walk at the moment, so I guess I'll switch and walk this one there. When you start charging the crystals, the alien force will detect it, and they'll try to stop you. It's possible you could be dealing with more enemies than you've ever seen. You must charge the crystals as quickly as possible. Oh god. Right, so I need one to stay up top, preferably. And another to just go by down and hide behind a fucking rock or something. Right, you're gonna go down and hide behind a rock. Where's going to be the best place to hide? So what's here over there? But then I can't actually see if enemies can see me. That's not exactly great cover. Okay. If I go here, that blocks off the enemies from that way. And then I can just shoot them from above from up here. Can 
Can I just pull the lever? Okay. Okay, I'm going to look at the next section. I've gone through the door. You can do it now. It's a flipping gold saw. <laughs> Okay, I might try that if we actually finish the game. Oh, it's going to actually force me to go down, isn't it? I know I watched uh, someone else do a Let's Play of Decay um, a while ago now. And they were able to actually stay up here. But I guess it's not going to let me. Wow. Fuck you, game. Unless it's just glitched altogether. Because it's still not doing anything. Ah... Uh... <laughs> Yep, I think my game's glitched. There's nothing's working. E spamming is not doing a thing. Holding's not doing a thing. Right, okay. Uh, which map is this? Fubar, I think it is. We'll just restart this mission. Well, we're not done yet. You must use the displacement beacon's focus emitter to charge the large crystals on the canyon walls. Once charged, I'll use them to start the resonant traversal. Those crystals that one has more stuff in it. Interesting. Crystals. Follow me. Would you mind opening this door for me? Okay, I've never played Decay on Sven before. I know you can, but just chose not to, because I know there was some problems with it. And again, there's clearly problems with this as well. I'm just gonna let Keller go first. Oh god, I'm walking into everything. Off you go. When you start charging the crystals, the alien force will detect it and they'll try to stop you. It's possible you could be dealing with more enemies than you've ever seen. You must charge the crystals as quickly as possible. I'd love to if the bloody switch worked. Uh, that way. Okay, let's get both of us out. So I know that door's meant to shut. Door is definitely supposed to shut. How long's about to take us both characters all the way to the other end of the map? Does it register it then? I'll try pulling a switch as well. 
because it's not even doing his dialogue. Uh, okay. Right, hold on. Let's just quit the game and relaunch. See if that solves anything. Uh, do which one was it? Fubo. You've done well, but we're not done yet. You must use the displacement beacon's focus emitter to charge the large crystals on the canyon walls. Once charged, I'll use them to start the resonant traversal. Those crystals will be far more effective than the dampening field. Follow me. See if this fixes it. If it doesn't Would fix it, um... Then... <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll have to do some bug fixing off um, off stream. See if there's any kind of solution to it. Yeah, that's as far as that goes. When you start charging the crystals, the alien force will detect it, and they'll try to stop you. It's possible you could be dealing with more enemies than you've ever seen. You must charge the crystals as quickly as possible. Alright, sure. Do the bonus level if it doesn't work this time. And then, because well, I'm streaming until 5, well, for another hour, then um, I can start Half-Life 2 as well. Hope that my poor, poor PC can actually handle it at the moment. Alright, you got any gonna do dialogue? No, okay. Alright, let's just get both of us out. Drop down. Both of us are down. Not looking promising. <laughs> oh, okay then. Um, yeah, I guess we're doing the bonus level. Um, yeah, if I find a fix for this um, after the stream, then next time I do a Half-Life stream, I'll quickly come on and do this level and hope that I don't die <laughs> before carrying on with whatever the hell else we're doing. Because, um... Sweet fuck all is occurring. Right, bonus level it is. <laughs> Ah, it's good to be back to this place. Good old Zen. Right. Alright, game, calm down. Fuck you. Alright, next. Oh, that's one way to kill him. <laughs> I really wish there was more levels where you get to play as the aliens. It's just so fun. Bastard. Oh, 
I'd rather you didn't. Yeah, got him. Good. I know you regen health for every kill you get, and I believe if you destroy the environment you get health as well. Just destroying those because I know what the bloody military is like. Got him. That sounds suspiciously like a grenade. Wait, did he just get killed by throwing his own grenade? It sounded like he threw a grenade, he got stuck in the wall, and then it rebounded into him and killed him, and then he got crushed by his own bomb. Damn, that takes skill. Ooh, that was close. Oh shit, my charge ran out. This guy was a bit of a bastard. Okay, well there's nothing in here I care about because I'm still at full health. Ah, sentries! Grenly fire! <laughs> oh, accurate. Accurate as hell. Can I go in here? That's a shadow, that's not actually anything I need to kill. Wait, did I just... I, I, I picked up impact grenades. Oh, fuck me. You can fuck off. Fucking Black Ops bloody assassins. Just fucking bitch slap you to death. Missed. Shit. Oh, that was a kill. <laughs> Anyone else? Can I destroy that? I can. I can't drink it though because I'm an alien. Uh, that gives me health. Okay, yes, this is where you were an opposing force, I believe. Or at least it's meant to be, although they've, they've slightly redesigned it for some reason. Shit! That's sentries! Fuck, I missed. Oh, it's that red sign next to it. It's really throwing me off for some reason. What the fuck? There we go. Destroy some boxes to regen health because logic. Oh, don't want that. Die when I hit you. Thank you. Anyone else? Yep. Okay, I hit him, but I didn't kill him. Well, that did. Jesus Christ. Alright. Um. Honestly, I've forgotten what I do next. Okay. I love how he just casually watched his friend die and didn't give a fuck. Okay, I can shoot that. Apparently through the glass, which is even more impressive. Um, okay, that's opened something. Sounded like over here. 
Ah, okay, let's open this. Boom! I love how Player 2 got Grade B when they literally did nothing. I, I did not even move the character. <laughs> okay, well, there we have it. That was Half-Life Decay, apart from the, what, ninth mission, which I will attempt to get working and do in the next stream. Which is a little irritating that that didn't work, but nothing I can do about that. At this time, anyway. So, moving on, after Half-Life Decay is, of course, Half-Life 2. I'll be doing classic Half-Life 2, not the update or end mod, because I don't think my PC can handle that at the moment. So, let's see. You have to let me know how the stream is with this, because I haven't tried any Source games while streaming. So, just vanilla. Vanilla Half-Life 2. Course, source engine must take slightly longer to load. Right. Uh, first off, normal. Then all the other settings should be absolutely fine. Uh, so yeah, so once I'm playing, let me know if the stream quality tanks. Because if it does, then I'll just I'll go on to um, the focal point mod and just play that instead. Should probably change the name of the stream as well, but oh well. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. Oh, that it has. I think Half-Life 2 is going to be a bit of a bitch to do without dying. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Not a bad shower, actually. I'll tell you, is having FPS counter on going to piss anyone off? Well... They can deal with it, I guess. Uh, see or show FPS. Oh, that one. To be fair, though, that's only going to be showing my FPS in game, isn't it? And my FPS in game is usually fine. It's only the FPS on the stream itself that gets fucked. So I went with Halo SPV3, that was absolutely smooth for me. Oh god, right, yeah, my sensitivity is different. I need to change my mouse Welcome. button. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been so yeah, just assume it's going smooth for me. And I, well, I guess we'll soon find out. Half-Life 2 is not that demanding, really, so in theory we should be alright. I've been proud to call City 17. Just bounce through City 17. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through... Oh, it literally stops me from going through until they got in. To City 17. It's safer here. It's safer here. The biggest fucking lie ever. There you go. Do all a Half-Life 2 while jumping. Yeah, that pissed me off after a while. <laughs> Fucking have a bucket! Have it again! Can I block the door? Oh, it's too slow. Oh god, it threw me forward. Have a chair! Have a book! Is it a book or is that a file folder? It's a file folder. I don't like beer. Fuck off. Sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. Have a seat. Take too long or they'll get oh god, I'm stuck on the chair. Oh, no, go on. Go on. Go on. There we go. Yes, Barney, what is it? 
I'm in the middle of a critical <laughs> test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Likewise, even though I didn't see you in number one. You can make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon. He <laughs> ran into the chair. Oh, that shouldn't have amused me. Oh, I was talking about... Will do. Ow. Yet again, I'm breaking my legs. Let's go. Bouncing through 17. <laughs> Bitch! Got the can before you could fling it. Fuck you. Oh god, he's after me. Run. Bounce. Bounce to safety. <laughs> he's right fucking behind me. Okay, he's giving up. It's all good. You don't truly really appreciate how much M mod patches Half Life 2 up until you actually see vanilla Half Life 2. God, I remember when this game was like the pinnacle of graphics. But, but you had to have like a beefy as ass computer to actually play this. Ah, oh, Half-Life. I look forward to being able to play Half-Life Alex one day. And then, you know, one day we'll all play Half-Life 3. <laughs> uh, it's the dream. Dream that'll never happen. At least they knock. That's polite of them. Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. <laughs> oh, there's just something so satisfying about trolling these guys at the start. I don't know why. <laughs> Can I pick up the table? Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Oh, brick. It's in bell. Oh god, it landed on him. There we go. These people aren't, you know, already poor enough and living in accommodation like this and under oppressive rule. But, um... <laughs> you can't take it now. Wait till you have no windows. Well, I'd recommend getting some fucking blankets for a start, because you can have a bit of a fucking draft now. Once you get a hypothermia and die. Hold on. Oh, wait, I can actually pick this up. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Right, hold on, I need something else. What else you got? I had no idea you could actually flush the toilet. I did not think they introduced that until Portal. Oh, can I pick, I can pick this up? Hold on, let me uh, get into the other angle. Excellent. The plank! Wait, I can pick the planks up? Hold on, which planks? Okay, yeah, because there's fuck all else I can pick up in there. Uh, okay, we're doing the planks in the other room. Oh, okay, well, that's not happening. <laughs> planks in the bathroom. Just jump, hold on. I have no idea what planks you're on about in here.
Oh! Okay. Oh, there we go. That makes me happy. Is there another one? Yeah. Can I pick this one up as well? Yep. Oh, oh, no, I dropped it. There we go. I'm, I'm glad I'm streaming this now, because I had no idea this, this was a thing. There we go. Alright, is that all the windows? Yep, just enough items for all the windows. Excellent, can move on with my life now. Feeling perfectly validated and satisfied. Yes, really. Run. Don't fucking block. You bitch! Hold on. Run. <laughs> oh, Half Life 2 is so fun just to fuck around in. Not so fun when you're being chased by assholes. Who want you dead? How's the frame rate? All, all still good? Just bounce through City 17. Run for your fucking life. Hey pigeon. These pigeons survived. Everyone's happy now. Just don't throw. I need to remember. I oh, actually no, I can't save, can I? Because I actually can't. Not allowed to die. This is kind of the point of the challenge. And uh, nope. And uh, nope. And you get fucked either way. Alex is a bit of a badass. Dr. Freeman, I presume. We better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Why can't I steal their stun sticks? Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Alex. I to him that you might not have a map. Fuck. <laughs> this way, Gordon. Hold on. Oh, these ones aren't breakable. Sad times. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. Sure yeah, in the week I was there. Man, a few words, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really talk to people. Don't take it personally. People just exist. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. No, because he was introduced in this game. Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Seventeen likes? That'd be nice. <laughs> You showing up Perfect like number. In particular. Oh, we're on chapter two already. Not the chapter one, you know, really that bad. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Cool. Let's go. Here, let me buy you a drink. I was so disappointed by this bit because I genuinely wanted a drink. Nice to finally meet you. Instead, you only get a secret lab. Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh oh, everything all right, Doctor Kleiner? Oh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and. My goodness, Gordon. <laughs> it really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I love how the monitor just sounds ridiculously light. And anyone who grew up with one of these knows this was a heavy bastard. Just installed the final piece for our selected teleport. Hold on, hold on. Alright, suck the cactus. 
If we wedge this bastard in. Come on, come on, it's gotta fit one way. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. Get in that. Get, get, get in. We can't keep him here long, Doc. Come on, it's stay if I just if I hold it in there. Can I can I teleport if I push it in? No. Fuck. Why do I put multiple things in? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civics. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Uh -oh. oh, fuck it, I'll do. I'll give you the honor. I've got to get back on my ship. God, it just fucking throws them. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Right. The head crabs look so much better. Lamar, you, you can! Don't ask me why the hell my brain didn't think. Let's put it in the nice open one. Oh god, I'm being thrown around by a book. Don't oh. suppose I've to put that into there. <laughs> this doesn't seem physically possible. Give him a fucking suit. Thank you. Well, Gordon, I see your AGB suit still fits you like a glove. At least the glove parts do. Cheeky bastard. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the cactus. Now let's see. They've got to think Gordon has ADHD or something at this point. Cause they're just trying to talk to me, I'm just sort of like, just throwing all the shit around and just running around not giving a fuck. Oh, what a climb. No, 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 let me, let me, let me, go on, that, thank you. Go on. There we go, I have a corner. I'll just live here. Do it with the cardboard box. Hold on, hold on, let me... Ooh, actually, yeah, what happens if you do do the cardboard box? Should I take the monitor out? I'm busy! Sciencing! Apparently the cardboard box is just a no. Yes! Shut the fuck up! I'm playing with portals! Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fuck. I know if we do it enough times, it breaks. Oh, let's spat the box out. Alright, I'm coming. Shut the fuck up. Fucking nag. Can I climb these? Oh, I actually can. Because I'm busy climbing. Kind of got wedged though. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? <laughs> yeah, it's great fun as a kid. Using my vast IT knowledge, I plugged it in. Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, 
Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. It all does. Right, your turn. Gee, thanks. Absolutely does. As soon as you're in position, we'll send you the e-ride. And not a moment too soon. I want to see what happens. If you take all the shit that made the Zen teleporters work in Black Mesa, and then get the Resistance teleporters, and then... The Combine Intra Universal teleporters, and then throw all that in with the Aperture Science portals, and just make some kind of weird, fucking freaky super teleportation portal. Glad I'll stew with a Vorskant test subject. I vote make Breen a test subject as well. Slow motion run. Slow motion jump. Way action sequence. Ah, it was nice while it lasted. Alright, so we're finally actually, uh, nearly out of the story section, actually into some proper gameplay. Oh, Barney, say your piece. Hey, Gordon. Yeah, I the see you. I'm looking at you. Alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Fuck, I love that building. As fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. I need much more than luck for this bloody playthrough. I'm going to need the skills of a fucking legend. Just something I generally don't have. Right, you come in here, take my picture, that's it. Beat it, bitch! You were supposed to drop me a nice armor battery, but no, you just couldn't be nice, could you? Right, now let's try not to get shot. Being shot is generally quite a bad thing to experience, I'd imagine, at least. I mean, I've never been shot before, so... Cannot confirm, but from what I've heard, it's pretty bad. Every button shall be pushed. Bye bye, motherfuckers. Ah, uh, there's nothing under there, so. Hold on. I was aiming for his head. Why did the blood come out of his chest? <laughs> Is there some kind of auto aim in Half Life 2? Do some legendary jumping. Oh shit, I fell. <laughs> Good start. You know, I love how Gordon just throws himself onto a train, like, yeah, this is no big deal. 
for it. Ah, might as well kill them all. Next. Come on, I know there's more. There we go. I feel like I'm aiming a lot higher than where the blood's coming out of. Really? That's it? I remember there being a lot more than that. Hold on, let me just go and steal all their ammo. Right, there was you over it. And there's all you guys. Asking me a nice little bit of ammo. Is that something in the corner? No, that's just some concrete. Cool! Grab this. I don't know what the fuck that city scanner was doing, but he was having some issues. That's what you get for being a dick. Okay, so these guys are dead. I'm nearly at max ammo from a pistol, so that's nice. Gonna farm these guys for ammo. So, I mean, I might as well have as much ammo as I can possibly carry. I don't actually want to pick that health up, but oh well. Oh, oh there we go, max ammo, cool. Hey! Alright, oh, why am I going there? I need to go up here. Oh god. I was thinking at least episode 1 will be a much simpler game, but then I thought episode 1 has some pretty intense moments in it. And episode 2, that fucking strider battle at the end, is going to be a nightmare. Oh, oh, there's more, okay. You guys done? Or do you need me to slaughter your entire fucking police force? I like that they're at least supplying me at the start of the game. That's a blood stain. That is not a person coming towards me. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. You want to avoid spoilers? I can respect that. Oh, you son of a bitch. The fucking train knocked the barrels! Well, that's never happened to me before. Of course, that happens on the no death run. I'm back up to 78 health, I guess that's better than nothing. Okay, 8 takes, he had some health on him. Fine, we'll just panic fire at everyone. Get the feeling one of them. Yeah, he did run up behind me. Okay. Why 
One down. Two down. And three down. Ah, I'm back up to full health. Now I just want some uh, suit. That'll be very, very nice of it. It's like these guys didn't learn from the military in the first game. I mean, obviously these aren't related to them. Well, I suppose they're related to them in the fact that they're human, but... Any military survivors from Half-Life 1 would have been killed by the Combine or turned into Overwatch soldiers. Right, there we go. I'm back up to some reasonable health now. Okay, that's back up to full ammo. Use a box to clear everything. Fuck it, it actually works. I've never tried that before. I seem to be getting loads of new ideas while I'm doing the stream, and I don't quite know why. Gee, man. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the Freebird. The Combine's reckoning has come. Appreciate the faith. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. I'm sorry for shooting you for the past four games. Oh, that was his revenge. He gave me nothing. We really can't afford to get no Bastard. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. Civil protection catches me down here. They'll all be dead. What's the issue? I feel less combine troops isn't exactly a bad thing. Yeah, I do like the fact they went with an underground railroad type thing. It's an interesting historical callback. To of course the real world underground railroad with the um, slaves in America. I think it was America. Oh, barnacles. There weren't any barnacles in Decay, thinking about it. Yeah, Gordon is just a random scientist guy who had a bit of hazard course training, and that's literally it. No sci- no, I say he's no scientist, but he's no soldier, is what I meant there. Right, one last barnacle. And it really does show the brutality of the Combine, that they're just mowing people down. Hey, over here. No! Oh, fuck! Fuck off! Give me your ammo, thank you. Uh, sure, I'll have my 1 HP back. I don't have all this armor. Huh? Thank you very much. Only man hacks, chill. It's indeed 2017, it's safer to shoot you. Right. That should have done something. Excellent. I do like the turrets in Half-Life 2, though. Half-Life 1 turrets are fun, but Half-Life 2 turrets are just so satisfying. If I can hit shit. There we go. Just 
just mow them down. They just don't stand a chance unless they angle themselves <laughs> slightly behind me. Well, you knew what you were doing, didn't you? Oh, fuck me. Run. Yeah, I'm not quite well equipped enough yet to take on a frickin' APC. Okay, two points of health, you know. Probably wasn't worth it, but hey. I miss barnacles. I do like the way they look in Half-Life Alex, though. They look much more threatening than they have in 1 and 2. Hey! I'm literally right in front of you. What do you want from me? I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive. Then you're going to die! Enjoy your death. I do overhealing. <laughs> Motherfuckers! They both ran off. Like, imagine not wanting to be shot. What the fuck? <laughs> to be fair, overhealing would be an interesting concept. Like, rather than giving you extra life and then it counting down slowly or something, you could literally have it where if you get too much health, it's like overdosing and it takes those health points away. And you end up actually having less health. I know, right? Imagine not wanting to die. Like, <laughs> the Combine do not understand how things are working. Chanel 8, your, your ammo, aren't you? Right. Fly, motherfucker! Oh, I wish we had explosive barrels in Portal. Imagine the fun you could have with turrets. May have to mod that. <laughs> Fucking mod portals so every single turret has an explosive barrel next to it. I thought that railing was going to come flying into my face and murder me. That would have been a way to die. Death by railing. Uh, do I want to kill you? Yeah, I do. It's just extra effort if they run away while you're trying to kill them. It's just fucking rude and insulting. Oh, they all had their tentacles up. Wow, game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright. I also like that in Half Life Alex, if a barnacle tries to eat a barrel, it actually dies. I actually got them all in one barrel? That's never happened to me before. There's always one that survives. Shit, okay. And we can rebuild a person. With all their casual remains. Yo, nope. Right, right, right. No, actually, I can just hide. I don't need to shoot. I'll bounce in the water, it's all good. Wow, apparently I can't aim for shit while I'm bouncing. I guess that makes a lot of sense, to be honest. 
Well, okay, the, these guys are pretty serious about the barrels. Why are there all these explosive barrels dotted around a fucking city anyway? <laughs> Other than the theory in um, Half-Life 2 Concerned, <laughs> I think it was called. The webcomic. That was absolutely brilliant. If you haven't read Concerned and you're a Half-Life fan, definitely recommend it. Thank you for standing right next to the barrel, you dumb twat. Oh, that's a barrel. Hi. I think this bit is the first bit where they truly start showing off their physics engine. And actually make you use... Science to solve puzzles. Wonder where the inspiration for Portal came from. Oh god, don't drop uh, giant blocks on your head. Oh god, I went under it. Tis not advisable. Problem is this puzzle is uh, a little bit monotonous. I suppose it is only a basic beginner puzzle, isn't it? And you run and jump, and then only just make it. That's where we've been going wrong. All these its not the combine specifically that we're after going. It's the fucking city. I had no idea you could just jump from the entering slope to the end. Fuck, I'll try that at some point. That's a nice skip to know. I like this. You, you people give me skips. It's great. Right, the current thing I want is the way to despawn the helicopter. That would be an absolutely amazing skip. with barrels. I'm good. Okay, we've got about five minutes left of the stream, so I guess um, just finish this little sketchy as fuck cremator section. Uh, barrels. Alright, actually, was there another explosive one in here? Yes, there was. Apparently bouncing in water makes you go faster as well. Okay, well, one ship's better than none. Oh, same for that one. Then, boom! Three less barnacles. Beautiful. And again! Wow, missed it twice. Amazing. I can't leave survivors. It's just not in my nature. Hold on. Wow, they like kind of shared me then. <laughs> that was a shared snack. I landed on health, that's nice. Run. Run, 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 run. Oh god. Give me ammo. Give me everything. <laughs> the snack. I mean, there's um. Oh shit! What the hell was the weird dodgy Gordon Freeman series I got sent? Oh, 
It was really fucking like weird and sexualized Half Life. Gorgeous Freeman, that was it. I was just sort of like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I kind of wanted that plank to be there. Okay, it's fine. I can just jump over. Yeah, you got the man hacks, right? Oh god, no, he doesn't. Fuck off. Bastards. That was a close call. Thanks for your help. <laughs> it isn't safe here. Now I'll give you some supplies <laughs> to keep going and you will Oh faking a release of gorgeous Freeman mod. Amazing. Truly, truly amazing. Alright, and then you come here and then you go, oh no, more man hacks, and then you run back and then you realise that your friend has just been murdered. And then a fucking piece of wood just fucking yeets you in. Hardly seems fair shooting them through this. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Stupid fucking things. They blew themselves up. Uh, what's that? No, that's a wall. Stuff. Next. Well, aren't you eager to come and slaughter me? Oh god, you're close. Okay. Many things are too close. January 1st release, it's still not released. Aww. That could have been hilarious to play. <laughs> right, I'll go get some plies. Some plies? Supplies. Or some supplies. I don't know what the fuck I was trying to say there, but it was one of them. Yeah, go grab these, and then I'll get back, and then we will end for today. And tomorrow um, is Friday, isn't it? Yeah, so Mass Effect. Oh, fuck me. Hello. Fuck off. Alright. So, we'll stop here. Saved. Good. Yeah, tomorrow, Mass Effect, 2pm to 5pm UK time, so same time as today. Um, Ash is going to be continuing the first playthrough of me playing as an infiltrator. Hopefully that will continue to be interesting. Hopefully we'll get past the side missions and actually get onto some of the main content of the game. Because obviously Mass Effect is quite a large game. Um, next Half-Life stream... In theory, will be next week on Wednesday. Obviously, I'm still not 100% what the hell is going on with my life at the moment, so... Who knows? It could be sooner, it could be later, but... As of now, it's currently Wednesday next week. 2 to 5, that's per normal. If that changes, I'll update it on the Discord server. If anyone watching this wants to have updates, then do join the Discord server. Um, the link is in the description of the channel. 
Pretty sure that's what it's called, channel description. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. You know what I'm on about. <laughs> um, my YouTube channel is Afro Armour Entertainment. All the past streams will be available on there, as well as all future streams. Obviously, once I've done them, because you can't really record things in the future, because that's not how time works. Unless you have a blue box. But I don't have a blue box, so that that's not how it works for me. Um, YouTube, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, yeah, so only, only one more stream this week will be tomorrow's Mass Effect. I might do a stream over the weekend, maybe do the Half-Life mod focal point, finish that off. Possibly. That's not a promise, it's a maybe. We'll see what I'm doing. Um, and then next week, hopefully, will be usual times for Tomb Raider, more Half-Life, more Mass Effect, more everything. Now, if there is anything you want me to specifically play or try any mod suggestions, feel free to leave them on the Discord server. We do have a little section for suggestions, and I've had some interesting suggestions come up in there for both mods and games. So, also challenge ideas you can do in there as well. So, hopefully you guys will join all that. Um, and I will hopefully talk to you all soon. So... Until next time, everyone, and hopefully I'll have a cable to take care. <laughs>